Hi friends, maximum weight for skin traction used is option A 1 to 2 kg, option B 4 to 5 kg, option C 10 to 15 kg, option D 15 to 20 kg. The pulling force used in the orthopedics to correct the fracture and dislocation is called as traction. There are two types of traction, skin traction and skeletal traction. Skin traction is applied over the skin. Pulling force is indirectly reaching the bone. Maximum pulling force that can be utilized in skin traction is 4 to 5 kg. Here we use adhesive tapes and bandages. Skeletal traction is directly applied over the bone. So the pulling force is directly over the bone. Here maximum 20 kg is used. Pins, screws, wires and tongs are used for giving skeletal traction. Skin traction is used for shorter duration of period whereas if we need traction for a longer duration, skeletal traction is the best option. Let's have a look into some of the examples of traction. Gallows traction, Bryan's traction and Russell traction are skin traction which is used for the fracture of shaft of the femur. Out of which gallows and Bryan's is used for less than 2 years of age and Russell traction is used for 2 to 10 years of age. 90 degree, 90 degree traction and Perkins traction are skeletal traction which are also used for the fracture of shaft of the femur. 90 degree, 90 degree traction is used in 10 to 15 years of age whereas Perkin traction is used for adult. Let's have a look into other tractions. Dunlop and Smith traction used for supracondylar fracture of the femur. Crutchfield traction used for cervical spine injury. Halopelvic traction for thoracic and lumbar spine injury. Agnes Hunt well luck traction for hip deformity. For applying skeletal traction in cancellous or osteoporotic bone, we use Denham spin. It is a centrally threaded Steinman spin. Thank you very much. Now guys, please tell me what will be the answer for this question. Yeah, that's right.